yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know me and what I feel like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Hyperactive Vibes. Yeah. So, this is now day four, oh my god, it's day four of Vlogmas. So, in this video, I'm going to be giving you some gifts and tips and tricks and all the amazing things on what to give for them. Them is a loose term. Them can be anybody, everybody, whoever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be anybody specific. It can be a friend, it can be a coworker, it can be um, maybe a sister or brother-in-law, it can be um, a secret Santa gift. It can be any of those gifts that are just for someone who may not necessarily have a direct title, like title title in your life, relationship title in your life. This is a gift for them. These are very neutral gifts that anybody would honestly love. I think I would love them. I think they're great gifts. And remember, well, now that you're watching this gift, now that you're watching this video, you need to go out and try to find these gifts fast while you can still get the deals during December. So, let's go. Oh, 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 let's go. But before we hop in, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video down below. All right, let's get into it. So number one, this gift is good for anybody, everybody. If someone got me this gift, I would love them forever because I absolutely love these. But number one is pajamas. Now pajamas, pajamas are amazing when they're fluffy. If you watch my other videos, you know that I'm in love with fluffy things, okay? So some fluffy pajamas, just pajamas that sort of have that holiday feel to it. They're nice and cozy and soft, even a matching set. Those are really good gifts to give. So pajamas are definitely number one, definitely a go-getter, something that's a really nice gift that will cost you maybe between 15 to 30 dollars about 15 to 30 dollars maybe 45 if you're trying to get them something a little nicer but 15 to 30 dollars is like your typical range for some pajamas and i feel like everybody loves pajamas and they're just great gifts all around you can never have too many pajamas because then your pajamas can turn into real clothes just saying just saying okay number two you guys know that i love these you know that i love these by now you understand the relationship the bond that i have with this gift but what you also know that everybody loves these everybody loves one or two one or two you can't you can't be hurt by one or two but this number two is candles Candles are a go-getter. Bath and Body Works, Target, Marshalls, Walmart, um, any other store you can think about, they have these items. Candles are such a staple and they're so awesome and they're so easy to use. And they just honestly make every environment more vibalicious. More vibalicious. Ah, if you want to create a mood or essence in a room or you want to give someone a gift they're really going to use and remember and like love, candles are the way to go. And not just any candles like the one that you just burn and they just have the light. Those are nice too for like baths and things, but candles that have a good scent. So this may require you to pay a little attention to them or throw out some little questions like, oh, what do you think of this? Or how do you think this smells? Or do you like this? And try to figure out what exactly smells and scents that they really like. And a candle could be the way to go. In addition, a candle is not that expensive. They can be between maybe $10 to $8, upwards of maybe like $25, $30. But if you're getting them a one wick candle, you're looking at maybe $8, $10, $12. If you're getting them a three wick candle, you're looking at more like $25, $30. But Bath & Body Works is having their sale right now, or they're bound to have another sale. They always have them during December and November where they're gonna be offering their three wick candles for $10 dollars that's an amazing deal so try not to miss out on it as soon as you see this video hopefully they're still doing that sale and you can go out and capture on it but yes number two is candles now number three is personally a favorite of mine and i love when i get these gifts because they're amazing and when i've given these gifts to other people they love them as well but they do require maybe a little bit of attention to detail and that would be books so buying someone a book that they've been imagining and dreaming about or helping them to get maybe like a gift card for audio books if they have that then that would be a definite good gift books they never get old they really never get old and you can always go back and use it especially a physical hard copy of the book i feel like nowadays you know we're in the digital age so everything's so digital but a nice book that you can feel and read and mark inside of it smell the pages you can't go wrong with a good book so Number three is definitely a good book. 
and the cost for a good book i mean depending on what they like you're looking at between maybe 15 to 35 dollars books are a premium books are expensive so if you're talking about something very specific you may be looking at 15 like i said to 25 30 dollars but if you're looking at something that maybe it's just like a fun book for them to read a little playful book then maybe ten dollars so overall your range on a book is going to be ten dollars to thirty dollars and that's about an average range especially if you have a, a membership at barnes and noble or something like that so ten to thirty dollars is about what you're expecting to spend on a really good book so ask them pay attention you know and see what you can find for them yeah so now number four number four number four 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 woo! number four is a robe oh my god a robe will literally just be honestly one of the best purchases that you can make get yourself one while you're getting the one for them but a long fluffy robe a long fluffy robe oh my god like i said if you watched my previous video you know that i love me a long fluffy robe get them a long fluffy robe figure out what their favorite color is and what color they kind of gra graduate 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 what color kind of pulls them in the most what's their favorite color and get them a robe in that color now a robe we're talking about maybe 20 to like 60 dollars depending on the price tag depending on how friendly you are with this person you can go a little bit upwards depending on you know the level and the quality of the robe you want you can go a little bit downwards but between 20 and 60 dollars is about a normal price for a robe and you're bound to get something that's really nice and fluffy so now number six are slippers, the little fluffy slippers that you can just slip your foot right in. I personally did not like these shoes at all for a very long time. I thought they were just very like unfashionable, but depending on the type of slippers that you get, they can be really cute. And honestly, they just feel so good on your feet and they're so easy to wear. So some slippers can be a really good gift idea and they would honestly, those are really good gifts. The price tag of some really good slippers can be between $10 and like $40. But some medium range is probably going to be about $20 for some good slippers. And honestly, they're going to last them so long. And if you catch them on sale at like Macy's or Belk or something, you can find them for like $15 or $10. So uh, like I said, as soon as you see this video, you need to be going out there and looking and doing some shopping. Bingo. So now our next one is going to be fluffy socks. So if you wanted to, you can honestly give them a whole gift basket and you can do the robe, the socks and the slippers. Woo! You win. You won. You got the best, the best buddy award and some pajamas. Oh my goodness. But fluffy socks are definitely the way to go. You can get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar only for a limited time because apparently they're going up on the prices but dollar tree for a dollar and they're fluffy and they have different um different designs on them different animals different type of holiday prints so you can really find some nice and affordable gifts such as fluffy socks at dollar tree so i would definitely recommend if you're thinking about thinking about something cheap and it's nice maybe for like a dirty santa or a, a five dollar under christmas gift that fluffy socks would be a really good idea. Now this next idea is number seven and it is a framed picture. So like I said, we're shopping around, we're thinking about ideas for them and we're thinking about ideas for anybody who loosely fits that term, who doesn't necessarily um, fit the other categories. And it's like a coworker or something or like a friend or like someone that you briefly know and you have a group picture, get the picture framed. That's honestly a great gift and it means more to them than you ever would ever really know. A framed picture lasts for so long and it just has the the physical meaning of like affection and love. So a framed picture, maybe sign it on the back, that's definitely the way to go. You can buy the frame at Dollar Tree for a dollar at Target for like three or four, or you can, and you can print out the picture at Target or any of your CVS, Walgreens type of photo printing um, places for only a couple of dollars. So all together, you're probably spending maybe less than ten dollars for the entire get up so that's a pretty good gift and you can honestly end up spending like five dollars if you already have a printer or if you have a printing shop um, near you so this can be a really inexpensive gift that has a really great meaning i would definitely say getting a framed picture of you and them or you and the group or someone that they love that can be a really good gift this next idea is one that I found there, and it is yoga position cards. So honestly, yoga in general is just a activity and I guess sort of like a leisure thing. Like, I don't want to call it a sport, but it's been like a, a workout that people are really gravitating to, especially over the last couple of years, especially during the pandemic, doing like yoga to get your mind right and meditation have really just become like really big, just staples in leisure activities and working out and things like that. So. That being said, more than likely, you know someone 
who has gotten into yoga and is really into it. So getting them a deck of yoga cards can be a really good gift and one that they really appreciate. And Marshalls, I believe I saw it there for maybe five or six dollars. And it was a deck of them that looked really nice and really expensive. And they were originally like 15 or 20 dollars. And I think that's just a great gift to give someone. So now number nine is a fun one. I saw it on Amazon. I think it's great to have. I think it's really fun and playful. And I think it's so necessary during this time of year when all we're doing is drinking hot drinks. And that is a mug with a cookie slot, a mug with a cookie shot, a mug with a cookie shot. Now listen, that would honestly be one of the best gifts I receive from anybody, um, especially if like they don't really know me too well and they give me a mug with a cookie slot, that's amazing. So I would highly recommend that you look into that. I think I saw it online for like $8 and it was really cute and it literally had the shape of a reindeer. Woo! It was amazing, it was amazing. And it was so cute and it looked like it was thick and it had the little traits you could slide out. And I think personally, it's just a really good gift to give. You can never have too many mugs in your house, ever, ever, ever. And honestly, it's something that's pretty creative because typically when people give mugs, they go and they get something that says something or something that is just like a certain color. But getting a mug that is in the shape of something and has a cookie tray, and has a cookie tray you're bound to win you're bound to win it's gonna be a great gift and it's not too expensive so that is number nine which is a mug with a cookie slot a cookie slot hey now number 10 is a universal item a universal thing that anybody and everybody would love even if you don't necessarily drink you can still use this for your regular drinks and things like that if you want to seem a little bourgeois a little fancy and that would be a wine glass or a whiskey glass now nice glasses in general People love nice glasses, people love nice things. So if you take the time to really find and pick out a really nice wine glass or a really nice whiskey glass or glass set for someone, they will be ecstatic, ecstatic. That being said, wine glasses and whiskey glasses are sort of a premium. You're looking at between $15 for one or two, upwards of like 60 to $100 for like a whole set. So depending on how much your money you wanna spend, okay, you're gonna end up spending a really pretty penny or you can get them one that you think they will really love, like a personal design or one with a monogram on it. That's definitely a good idea as well. But a wine glass that's either for them or a set, depending on the relationship, and depending on how your pockets are looking could be a really great idea now 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 I do have one more special thing I want to throw in there because I think it's such a good idea and I think that it's something that's small but people really will remember it and they think about you every single time they use it or look at it and that is a keychain a keychain you can actually get them a keychain themselves like an actual keychain or you can get something to go on to their keychain like a little symbol or their initials or something like that um, that they can put on to it so if you notice that they already have these little things on it it could be a really good idea to do such a thing and it could be really useful and really cute and it's something that's going to always keep you in their mind in the back of their mind a little bit so i think a keychain is a great idea to give anybody and everybody especially if maybe you have access to like a 3d printing machine you can actually print off something yourself or you can have it specially made for them on etsy or something like that but overall i think the price of a keychain you're going to end up spending is maybe between like five dollars and maybe like $40 depending on how much of a premium you want to go but $5 and $40 is pretty standard it's pretty I guess expected that you're going to spend that type of money on a keychain so yeah I think it's a great gift it's something that you can put for dirty Santa a stocking stuffer for a secret Santa for all of the above so yeah I think it's a great idea all right guys thank you for tuning in today for vlogmas day four woo 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 vlogmas Vlogmas day four, vlogmas, vlogmas day four. I'm excited you guys decided to watch this video and I hope that you walked away with some good gift ideas for, you know, someone in your life, whoever fits that they title, that them title. I hope that you found a really good gift for them and something that you'll really enjoy. And if you're shopping more specifically for him or her, or people that fit that sort of narrative, then feel free to check out my other videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And if you have any good gift ideas, put it down below in the comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you've already gotten for people. And remember that we are actually still looking for a family name for us all. We're looking for a family name. We're looking for a family name. We're looking for a family name.
yeah so let me know down below with your ideas what you've gotten and a family name that you're thinking about don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see y'all for day five hey bye y'all